requested that I need to do a video on how to connect a PS3 controller to the computer well to a PC um, so in this tutorial I'm basically running Windows 7 and um, yeah I'm basically just going to run you through it quickly so first of all you need to go to www.motionjoy.com hopefully this is the um, this is the website it will come up to and then um, yeah, basically you just want to click on Motion Joy version 0.6.0005 and um, yeah so just hit the download link and install version 0.6.0005 don't install version 0.7 because it's still in testing mode so it might be a bit glitchy so just download it and it should start So you need to unzip that, run the EXE and just accept any administrative changes and just set it to where you want it to install, what you want the name to be and if you want a desktop icon or not, hit install and finish and make sure you run DS3 to it as well. Okay, now so basically what you want to do is um, Plug your USB into your com into your PC. Basically, it's just the one that you use for charging your PS3 controller. And then, um, yeah, so basically, just plug it in and go into Driver Manager. Yes. And then, um, yeah, so basically, when you plug it in, this um, your controller ID should come up. And then, um, so for every single controller, there's a different ID. So if you registered one. Yeah, um, the next one that you try to plug in won't. You need to register that one as well, basically. So just tick it and hit load driver. Don't hit install all because it's going to overwrite all your drivers for your mouse and your keyboard if you have wireless, or if you're just using a USB one as well. So I can actually mess everything up. So don't hit install all. Just hit load driver, and it should install. Yep. So it basically just finishes. And then go to profiles, um, it'll recognize that you've used DualShock 3 or 6 axis or whatever. And then basically, you can set like which mode you want the controller to be in. So, for most games that you can use an Xbox, Xbox 360 controller in, you can just select um, the Xbox 360 controller emulator. And basically, what that'll do is just act as if it were an Xbox controller. Um, so, yeah, and you can change sort of. Um, the LED information if you want like certain lights to flash or whatever and then um, so basically before you hit um, before you stop playing a game just hit enable and it should enable on your PC and then um, yeah if you want you can go into game controller panel and just get rid of this and um, hit properties and just change the settings and stuff or just test out sort of um, if your controller actually does work or not and then um, yeah, so that's about it. That's all really. So remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.